Hey everyone and welcome to another XIM tutorial. Today I want to show you my Warframe config tutorial for XIM Apex. For you XIM4 users out there it will also work with XIM4. Warframe is a free to play shooter and is in regards to its mechanics very similar to Destiny or Anthem but with like 50 times the content, maybe even more. It also has the best free to play system that I have seen in any game so far and in the last few years it received a lot of big changes which is why in my opinion it is now the best time to start with the game. Now about the structure of this video. First I will go over the necessary preparation steps that are required for this config. I will also go over a few important in-game settings that will result in a better game experience. After that I'll show you what in my opinion are the best HIP and ADS config settings for Warframe right now. The focus will lie on the button bindings where I will give you some recommendations on how to efficiently handle the ability buttons and also your character movement keys. In the third topic I will show you a trick with which you can use your mouse to navigate through the in-game menu. That way you will not have to control the cursor with your keyboard in case you don't like that. But let's start with the first topic, the necessary preparation steps. The first preparation step is to adjust your XIM polling rate. You can do that by heading into the global settings in the top right of your XIM manager. There you can find the polling rate settings. If you cannot see those settings then tick the expert mode at the top. Usually 1000Hz or 500Hz are the best polling rate profiles. Just pick the one that your mouse runs better on. One thing you should consider though is that not every mouse can send a 1000Hz signal, even if it claims to support 1000Hz. Such a mouse will then cause stutter and reduce your mouse accuracy when it runs on 1000Hz. So if you are unsure what polling rate works best with your mouse, then I would recommend you to do one of the three benchmark tests that I demonstrated in my polling rate tutorial. Such a test will only take around one minute, maybe even less. You can find a link to the video in the video description. Since I have a new mouse that runs very well on 1000Hz, I can go with the 1000Hz polling rate profile in XIM Manager. Once you have adjusted your XIM polling rate, you can hit the save button in the bottom right. After that, leave this menu and restart your XIM Apex so your polling rate changes will become active. For that, just unplug and replug your XIM from the console. For your XIM4 users out there, your XIM4 runs on a locked 125Hz polling rate, so you can ignore these polling rate changes. The second step is about the correct in-game settings. Click on the wrench button in the bottom right of your Warframe logo in XIM Manager. After that press the yes button in the following pop-up window and you should be forwarded to the XIM forum. There you can find the in-game settings for Warframe that your XIM needs to give you the best mouse movements. Don't use any other settings or else the quality of your mouse movements will suffer quite a bit. Since Warframe isn't part of the list, this means that it doesn't require any special in-game settings other than the ones that are listed at the very top of the topic. So all you have to do is to set your controller sensitivity to maximum in the game settings, that's it. So start your game now and adjust its settings. In addition to that, I would recommend you to use the following three in-game settings for a better game experience. The first one is to deactivate the aim assist. Even if you turn off the aim assist there will still be a small aim assist effect. But the reduced aim assist is less annoying and will work much better with the movement system of Warframe. Precision aiming is not all that important in Warframe. Switching very fast between targets however is. That's why I recommend you to turn off the aim assist. The second adjustment is the UI cursor sensitivity. Definitely set this option to maximum if you want to use the mouse menu tricks that I will show you in the last part of this video. The third setting is the field of view. You should set it to maximum. The higher the field of view, the more information of your surroundings you will get. Of course you can also use my other in-game settings that you just saw. But most of these settings are personal preference adjustments and not really mandatory to use. But now that your in-game settings are correct, you can go back to your XIM manager. The next topic is about the HIP and ADS config. Click on the edit button in the top left to start the configuration mode of your Warframe XIM profile. In the first screen you can adjust the configuration light and the hotkey button. I'm using a yellow color and my hotkey is the F1 key. That allows me to load my Warframe XIM config whenever I press the F1 key on my keyboard. After that my XIM will also show a yellow LED light. Now let's swipe to the right in your Warframe XIM configuration to enter the HIP menu. The first thing you should do here is to adjust your synchronization settings. You can find those under the HIP sensitivity when you click on the advanced options. Synchronization common gives the best mouse movements in Warframe in my opinion. Default is also an option but it only works very well for slow sensitivity players. Common however works very well with every mouse sensitivity plus you really cannot go wrong with it. I wouldn't recommend to play with off or slow in Warframe. The mouse movements just aren't very direct then or tend to stutter. 
Once you have adjusted your synchronization value, you can continue by adjusting your hip sensitivity. I use a sensitivity of 16 with a mouse DPI value of 3200. If you are unsure what DPI value will work best for your setup, then you can watch Maxim Mouse DPI tutorial. Usually too much DPI will cause mouse stutter for example. I also did a guide on how to find your optimal mouse sensitivity in case you don't know what XIM sensitivity value you should play with. Now about the three new XIM features boost, steady aim and simulate analog behavior. None of these three features are really helpful for Warframe. While they allow you to change how the aim assist works in the game, there really isn't any need for that since we already adjusted the aim assist settings via the game itself. The next thing are the button bindings. Here you can either copy my button layout that you can see right now or you go with your own one. There is only one important thing though, which is the Warframe ability key. In the Xim Manager it is listed as Power. As you can see I bound the left alt key to it. In Warframe you do your 4 abilities by holding down the power button and then press either X, circle, square or triangle. Or on the Xbox controller A, B, X and Y. Since those four buttons also have other purposes, we will use the secondary button bindings to assign them to specific ability buttons. At the very bottom of your button bindings, you can find the option to switch to the secondary button bindings. As you can see, in my secondary button bindings, I bound the X, square, circle and triangle button again, so I can press those together with my power button to activate my Warframe abilities. Use buttons for those that you haven't bound so far and that you can comfortably press while moving around with your character. Once your button bindings are complete, you can swipe to the right in your hip menu to enter the ADS configuration. Again, the first thing you should do here is to change your synchronization settings. I usually use the same synchronization for hip and ADS to have the same mouse feeling, so I'll go with common again. After that, you can adjust your aimed on sight sensitivity. My preferred XIM aimed on sight sensitivity for Warframe is 8. Just like before, if you prefer to use a higher or lower value, then that's absolutely fine. Just make sure that you use a sensitivity with which you have a really good aim. Your general Warframe config is now complete. In the last few minutes I want to show you a trick with which you can control the in-game menu with your mouse. For that we will use a sub-configuration. So swipe one more time to the right until you access a new auxiliary config. Click on the enable button to activate it. I already renamed the sub-config in advance. You can rename it too if you want to. First, untick the inherit button at the very top. After that, bind an activation key. Use a button that you haven't bound so far. For me, the R key is ideal for this. Next to the activation key, you can set the activation method. I will go with toggle for this, however, you can also use hold if you want to. In that case, you will have to keep holding down your activation button in order to use your mouse in the game menu. After that, set the sensitivity of the sub-configuration to a value that is several times higher than the sensitivity that you use in your hip configuration. I will go with 128, which is 8 times higher than my hip sensitivity. For the advanced settings, use the same synchronization as in your hip configuration. So once again, I'll go with common. After that, tick the left stick box at the very bottom. This is necessary or else your mouse will not control the in-game cursor in the game. The next thing you should do is to scroll down until you can see the movement options. Unbind the WASD keys here by double clicking those. That way you will delete them. After that you can expand the advanced option right below and assign your WASD keys to the right stick instead. Some in-game menus will require a little bit of scrolling. For that you can then use the WASD keys together with your mouse movements. The last important step comes now. Scroll down until you can see the button bindings. There you have to make quite some adjustments now. Start from the bottom and delete all actions except for the guide and the game menu button. After that scroll up and delete all the other buttons and copy the button bindings that you can see right now. With these button bindings you can fully control every game menu with just your mouse. Of course you can also use different bindings but these will work very well in my opinion. At last scroll down again and switch to the secondary button bindings. Verify that there are no buttons bound to any actions here. The sub configuration now works like the following. If you want to use your mouse in the game menu, all you have to do is to press your activation button. Once you left the game menu, you just press the activation button again to enter your regular Warframe config. Your mouse menu config is now complete. You can hit the save button in the top left and exit the configuration mode. As always, you can find the copy and paste code of the whole Warframe configuration in the video description down below. If you have any questions about the XIM or about the Warframe configuration, just ask in the comments down below. 
Guys, if you liked this video, hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. And for the crazy guys out there, you can even become a channel member now. I'd really, really appreciate that. Also, let me know if you would like to see more of these videos in the comments down below. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.